Right, good evening everybody. I'm having one of them days again with, com with computers. Yeah. Right, um, ooh, news for today. Ooh, I'm going to have to eat this thing. Good. Right, news for today. Uh, first thing is Richie Sunak. Yes, he's now Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, 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 he did get in, unfortunately. Right, uh, I'm not recognising it as Prime Minister because uh, you have to be voted in my eyes to be being there and you have to be voted in on a, whatever you call it agenda and the agenda's not what it what it was so from that side oh yeah, well he's in uh, if anyone's been watching all the uh tiktoks and things like this that are coming out with, with like indian music and corner shop signs above number 10 and everything like that uh, to be quite honest you this is the united kingdom you know you're going to get the get mickey take all the time uh, but it's just some. Some I did chuckle at. I'll, I'll be quite honest. So you know, one, one had oh, disco music coming out saying his Boris coming around for a party. Uh, he probably did, but it, I, I'll be quite honest. Where is Boris vanished to? Yeah, strange. That comes in, causes loads of crap, and then vanishes, doesn't he? So uh, yeah. So there we go. So Boris has pulled out, and Richie went in. So sounds sounds familiar, doesn't it? Right. Um, yeah, so he's the Prime Minister. Uh, the President of America doesn't know who the Prime Minister is uh, because no, no one told him how to say his name. So it, count, it, it came out sounding like somebody from uh, Ethiopia uh, whose parents were born in Hawaii. So it was something like Iyanuk Sahuthathuf or something. Something sounded like, it sounded like a Hawaiian name. Anyway, so it, yeah, so that was quite amusing. Um, so that shows how popular he is. Uh, in popularity polls, uh, a new Mori poll has come out and said that basically the red wall across the UK uh, that the Tories were counting on uh, is now zero. Uh, not one of them, if it was an election tomorrow, not one of them would have voted Tory again. Uh, so it, I think it was something, I forget the exact figures, I think it was 350 something would go to Labour. Uh, nearly 400 something like that in the vote and then 128 or something would go to Tories uh, that's countrywide uh, and then you'd have the Lib Dems you'd, you'd end up roughly uh, with the, the, the Tories in third or fourth place now there's a, another one as well like that uh, Mr Trice he's been, he's been with Reform Party now there's, now there's a whoa, I saw a little picture and I thought hey you up no uh, now, Nigel Farage, I don't know if he's coming back in or not. He's tempting everybody. He's, he's toying with us. Now, they, someone put a picture of him with, with Mr. Trice together. I thought, well, the two of them. Hold on, that might be a lot of numbers, that. Um, in which case, that would change the whole perspective of it and probably put uh, the Tories down in fourth or fifth place at that point. Uh, that, so it'd probably wipe them out, to be quite honest. Uh, and speaking of wiping out... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the Tory computer uh, 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 today, and uh, it was either today, today or yesterday, uh, on their membership forms, you can cancel your membership. And uh, wow, it's been the most popular thing on the net for the last two days. Uh, so much so, it actually crashed their computer. Um, now, for those who've still got the Tory memberships, uh, you've got a simple choice. Winter's coming. The price of electricity is going up. You're going to have to pay more now to be a Conservative member because obviously you've got all these offices that are going to be using more electricity. So uh, so there you go. Uh, good on you. Yeah, you've doomed yourself on this one. I d although I must admit, I think that most Tory people would be slightly annoyed anyway, uh, in, from, it seems from the polls, because there is there was no vote. You could sort of like get away with it if there had been a vote for vote like last time with the hustings, just speeded them up. But they've changed everything. It seems so rigged. I mean, I did a rant about it last night. It, it's completely rigged because Boris pulled out so late in the day that anyone didn't have, anyone who was we voted for him didn't have time to change their mind over somebody else. So some have really, I think some have even changed sides completely uh, today. And then, so that's what happened then. And then of course uh, that left the young lady who got, I think she got about 50 or 60 at that point, she would have had those numbers and and she probably would have been the Prime Minister. But Boris cocked it up again. 
So, uh, and now he's vanished. So he's, he's not even anywhere to be had for the, for the questions of was it rigged. So from that side, yeah, unfortunately, there's too many things like that. So that's why they're losing popularity. People are going to go, hold on, you've been done by the police. You've been given a fine for the COVID, COVID parties. Um, you thought that was funny. It isn't funny because no one's forgiven you. You just don't, you haven't had a vote for everyone to show you the disdain that's in the country for you. Um, you've got so that that's that's that. You've also got the non-dom thing going on. You know, t twenty million. You know, I, uh, I think sooner or later someone's probably going to investigate you for that one. You've got the ten point six billion pound fraud that with the PPE that's never been investigated by the police that should have. Because I know if I if I took about two pound fifties worth of stuff out of a shop, the cops would arrest me and, and they'd they'd have me in, in front of the court. Uh, but ten point six and nobody's going to be prosecuted. That's a big one. Nobody's going. We're not going to let you forget that one until a policeman takes notice. Uh, and if they don't, then we just take no notice of the policeman. It's as simple as that. It's a fair trade. So, um, right. So that's those ones. Uh, now. Moving on, we also had problems down south again, police as well as uh, involved in this one, uh, where we've got our friends, the tourists, coming across on the rubber dinghies. Uh, today, uh, one actually got off, uh, well, there was more than one, obviously. He went, went into a village. Uh, a young gentleman walked into somebody's house uninvited into their front room and demanded the old lady hand over a, a phone so he could make a phone call. Uh, he did two phone calls. Uh, to somebody, so obviously he he knew somebody who was over here, uh, and then demanded that she drive him up to I think it was either Manchester or London. Um, at which point she got out of the house, got the neighbour. The neighbour, uh, a lady came in, helped the gentleman out the front door. That's more than I would have given him. They got a swift boot up the arse off. Oops, excuse me, up the bottom. Uh, kick up the bottom and they're told to get out of the house and then hand it over to a local constabulary. Um, so that's breaking and entering. So broke the law, that's automatically jail and then deportation. And you can't get out of that one, I'm afraid. That's the rules. Uh, talking about deportation and the last a good bit of news here, not really good because they should have been strung up from a tree, uh, was two of the guys who were responsible for the grooming in, I think, Bradford and uh, wherever it was, um, they, uh, Rotherham, you see the Bradford Rotherham, one or two, something like that. Uh, they were released from prison and have been fighting deportation. Uh, they said they've given up their pa Pakistani uh, passports, so they're stateless. However, the High Court has found against that, so they're going to be on a plane. Uh, as you all saying, they'll be leaving on a jet plane. Um, think yourself lucky because I'd take you on a plane and I'd push you out the back. Not a thought about it whatsoever. Uh, international air, airspace it belongs to everybody uh, I'd let you I'd let you go there uh, I might throw a parachute out in front just one see which one can catch it uh, right so there you go that's the news for the day I hope you're gonna have a nice couple of days because the sun should be out for the next couple of days uh, I can say in about three weeks I am expecting uh, temperatures to drop drastically uh, and even maybe some of that little bit little flurry of white stuff uh, so, uh, but we'll see about that. Hold me to it. Normally, I'm not too bad on that one either. Right. Uh, all I will say is that I am still like. If you want to catch up on what I said last night, I'm sticking to my word. I think the fifth of November will be a uh, bonfire night and a bit of trouble at mill. So, um, right. Take it easy. Have a lovely night. Catch you all soon. For those who, who subscribe, uh, I also do myths and legends. It's probably going to be one of those coming out tomorrow as well. So take it easy, look after yourself, have a lovely weekend coming up. Anyway, ta-ta.